basically it is the pharyngeal tonsil whenever it is enlarged it is basically called as the adenoid as all of you know very well <clears throat> ophthalmic nerve what are the various cutaneous branches of ophthalmic nerve can the online students can punch whether it is clear now yeah basically if you look at the infraorbital nerve which is quite often anesthetized it is a branch of the maxillary nerve is what you have to basically uh, remember it. oblique popliteal ligament of the knee joint what is the significance of it the middle geniculate artery classically will be piercing the oblique popliteal ligament is uh, um, what we need to basically remember among the genicular arteries connections gap junctions tight junctions favorite high yield topic that you need to bookmark so basically it is the intracellular concentration of the calcium uh, which will decide uh, the uh, electrical impulse transmission across the junctional uh, areas is what you have to basically remember where does the graded electrogenesis occur in a neuron basically it is a you have got an area which is called the somatic dendritic zone is the classical area where uh, you have the graded electrogenesis actin basically is bound to z lines what is that protein which is involved in the middle of the two you thought anything else other than you thought titan is a favorite uh, wrong answer desmin 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 should not be actinin is the one which is basically the one which is binding with the z lines is what i want to underscore to all of you but what is the significance of this actinin why is it so important for the examiner actinin production is decided by a gene called act n4 this act n4 mutations are implicated in focal segmental glomerulosclerosis that's the reason we need to basically remember yeah rupam sanser was tropomyosin no doctor no no actin is responsible for light band myosin is for the dark band troponin i inhibits the interaction of myosin and actin i is for inhibition troponin t binds the other troponins to the tropomyosin and troponin c has the binding site where calcium comes and binds that is what you have to basically remember what is botulinum toxin a how does it basically act basically you have botulinum toxin a and b it is a snap 25 the protein which is being the channel which is being inhibited by the botulinum a so what is meant by a spinal reflex suppose you are tapping the patella tendon while eliciting knee jerk what will happen whenever you tap typically there is a contraction of the quadriceps whenever contraction occurs that creates tension which is perceived by golgi tendon organ golgi tendon organ in turn through the 1b fibers will be informing the spinal cord and spinal cord will send inhibitory reflexes to the antagonistic muscles so this is typically called the uh, inhibitory reflex which is called autogenic inhibition so it is the 1b fibers which are very important for mediating the autogenic inhibitory pathway is what you have to ultimately remember now the brown color of the feces is a favorite question many times repeated anybody answered believed in stercobilin is the one which is a tetrapyrrolic bile pigment responsible for the color brown color of the human feces what are aldoses and what are ketoses is a very important uh, division you must know dihydroxyacetone similarly the uh, uh, other important group erythrulose ribulose xylose osis 
what our organic chemistry teacher told ketosis basically and uh, ribose mannose galactose of course there are also oses only but uh, they are basically what aldoses is what i want to underscore to all of you rapid administration of the glucose if there is a thiamine deficiency what will it lead to anybody answered uh, non ketotic hyperosmolar coma during that year original key released by university will be there it uh, 2005 only jkmd used to release question paper and also key in 2012 13 our uh, ap tamil nadu karnataka became transparent but they were transparent from 2005 only so their key had a non ketotic hyperosmolar coma is the answer but my point why lactic acidosis is you require time in for what pyruvate pyruvate dehydrogenase to convert pyruvate into acetyl coa if that is not there pyruvate become lactic acid and that lead to development of excessive lactic acidosis so that is the whole idea behind it is what you need to basically remember that's right yash has rightly told pyruvate dehydrogenase require thiamine pyrophosphate in the absence of it pyruvate will be tempted to become lactic acid by anaerobic metabolism This is what you have to basically remember leading to lactic acidosis epinephrine rises glucagon rises they are the counter regulatory hormones which will basically rise and they lead to development of hyperglycemia but what is the main difference glucagon cannot act on muscle phosphorylase muscle phosphorylase that is the fundamental difference between the two is uh, what we need to basically appreciate glycogenesis glycogenolysis today only if you did this question wrong the smart jagrata jagrata you have to go back and read taking this as a sure short topic to come in the next state md entrance when is comet k february 1st that is next week ke baad next week yeah so uh, your nearest exam comet k also will have glycogen fatty acid beta oxidation and uh, citric acid cycle totally it does uh, 8 to 9 cycles you have to be 100% sure what is the main source of fuel for the heart doctor dil dadakne ke liye kya chahiye ek mehboob ka zarurat nahi hai fatty acid ka zarurat hai because the main source of energy for the heart is what not by carbohydrate metabolism it gets energy by fatty acid metabolism heart gets the energy is what need to basically remember but whereas for your brain the situation is not that brain does not depend upon uh, long chain fatty acid oxidation for its energy requirement is what you have to fundamentally understand <coughs> then autoimmune hemolytic anemia warm antibody hota hai garam garam hota hai igg not igm as all of you know very well all rods are basically present in myeloblasts that's reason you require myelo peroxidase as a staining uh, um, uh, material for staining the uh, myeloblasts whenever you do bone marrow aspiration aspiration kya hota hai just like thyroid se aap kya karte hain fnac kar sakte aur thyroid ka biopsy bhi kar sakte hain जैसे ही इवन इन द बोन मैरो यू हैव गोट एस्पिरेशन अदर इज टू कट बायोप्सी सो वेन एवर यू डू एस्पिरेशन यू गेट ए ड्राई टैप इन टू सिनेरियो वन इज इफ दर इज ए लॉट ऑफ फाइब्रोसिस इन द बोन मैरो व्हिच इज कॉल्ड माइलो फाइब्रोसिस सेकेंड इज इन हेरी सेल लुकीमिया एंड इवन ए प्लास्टिक एनीमिया सो इन ऑल दिस सिनेरियो यू गेट ए ड्राई टैप इज वॉट ए वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्कोर टू ऑल ऑफ यू to know the response whether your therapy is helping the patient or not what is the best way in megaloblastic anemia basically it is a reti count the reticulocyte count as what you can see reticulocytes typically begins within 4 to 5 days after the therapy and it will peak by about 7th uh, day is what you have to basically remember 
anthrax bacillus what is the speciality of its uh, capsule its capsule is made up of uh, poly d glutamic acid not with a carbohydrate like streptococcus landsfield classification is based on what doctor capsular polysaccharide but here what you have is poly d glutamic acid is there in the case of the anthrax anthrax bacillus is gram positive plaque medium is used macfedines reaction positive string of pearls prostrate glass inverted fat tree medusa head so many special special points are there about uh, bacillus anthracis on which questions are asked if you go through the microbiology top uh, high yield topic list all india results have come lot of our students are mailing every day they got good ranks high yield topic list really worked out very well in the exam they are very happy there are some extraordinary gainers who were not even within the top 25000 last time last year who are within the first 1000 2000 this year and waiting for the counseling so let me tell you doctor focus preparation will bring that u turn in your preparation let me tell you it is not about how voluminously quantitatively how long hours you have read doesn't matter how specifically you read how keenly you read few things but precisely that's what examiner want so please stick to that high yield topic list on priority basis top 50% more than enough top 25% very very strong you should be is what i want to um, in reinforce to you now doctor what statement is true out of all this vibrio cholera if you take <clears throat> yeah conscious is asking a very good question can we have appg previous questions as mock test appg previous questions every year one time we will have akbar another time aurangzeb another time different people sitting on the board so there is no pattern but even in a patternless state of exam also the questions automatically fall into pattern that is the beautiness of uh, the high yield topic list so there's a reason don't worry but all the previous appg papers are all available on the youtube uh, the video discussions and also on newsformedico.com you can uh, review them on our channel now doctor regarding the vibrio cholera vibrio cholera is basically what it is uh, non encapsulated comma shaped oxidase positive is what you have to basically remember therapeutic index is an index of safety cough is an adverse effect of uh, ac debitas like captopril fancunis outdated tetracyclines if you use one of the important side effects is development of fancunis is what you need to basically remember and uh, after anesthesia typically muscle pains muscle aches muscle stiffness there are all the problems which occur whenever you give a agent like succinylcholine is what you have to basically remember then ha huh? it is not muscle ache eh? muscle ache it is muscle stiffness which was given eh? actually it should be muscle ache making uh, succinylcholine as the answer uh um, muscle stiffness should be corrected to muscle ache post because if you use succinylcholine initially there will be fasciculations created whenever it is creating a block and that lead to development of post operative muscle pains which are actually the right way of framing the question should be yeah raj and manas are saying fentanyl should be the correct answer if the stiffness is there okay i think uh, we need to correct the answer because stiffness was given now acetylation is important in both scenarios inh hydrazine procainamide but not for phenytoin acetylation is important alkaline urine what will it do if the drug is a weakly acidic drug a weakly acidic drug become ionized in a alkaline environment any drug which is ionized 
cannot be reabsorbed in the renal tubules. Ionized drugs cannot cross the plasma membrane. So they remain in the tubular fluid and last into urine. And that is how we do hastening of excretion of the drugs by altering the pH of the urine is what need to be remembered. So there is a reason dark. Basic drugs require acidification of the urine. Acidic drug requires alkalinization of the urine. You must know phenobarbiton like drugs, very common in your in our clinical practice. Phenobarbiton, a nurse is angry with her husband. When she is doing night duties, her husband is doing his own night duties. And one day he caught him red handed. She is depressed about the way of life she is leading and took doctors, nurses, pharmacists. They have access to the benzodiazepines, barbiturates. So she consumed a phenobarbiton and came to you. Completely comatose. One of the ways of hastening the excretion is what? Forced alkaline diuresis. So you must know what drugs for alkaline diuresis, what drugs, very few drugs are acidification of the urine is required. So that list in forensic, don't forget, high yield topic. Carcino embryonic antigen <coughs> is the main marker for breast, pancreas, lung but not prostate. I think cheapest question on the planet. These are all responsible for prolonging bleeding time. Bleeding time is implicated by what? Platelet functionality. Hemophilia may, it is a clotting factor issue. But what is the speciality of von Willebrand? Both the bleeding time and the clotting time. APTD is prolonged because factor 8 is unstable if von Willebrand factor is missing. And bleeding time is prolonged because of the platelet adhesion become difficult if there is any von Willebrand factor deficiency is what need to be remembered. So what is heart failure cell doctor? Whenever there is any congestive heart failure, chronic passive congestion, then the macrophages will be engulfing the alveolar bleed and they will become hemosiderin laden. That is basically called the uh, heart failure cells. In megaloblastic anemia, you find pancytopenia, leukopenia, thrombocytopenia, not thrombocytosis is what you need to basically remember. <coughs> Pregna is asking a very good question. How many questions should be left on an average to get a good score? 199. How many questions should be left? See, leaving a particular question is highly individualized point. Numericals, leave it. If you don't know the numericals, don't suddenly become little miserly. Little more miserly that oh let me give a try let me give a try no if you lose you are unnecessarily losing marks for nothing due to emotional heart second in any uh, question based on management or uh, a radiograph or guesswork yes please do a guess please do a guess if you go wrong also you have gone wrong for the right reason don't go wrong for a wrong reason. That's a simple aspect. So, as you keep practicing, you will get a habit of, uh, because 20 more mock tests are there. So, as you keep practicing, you need to also start uh, getting a habit of how to bid in a negative marks based exam. I think that will uh, be sufficing. <clears throat> Kalyani is asking a very good question. Um, is all India papers are needed or AIMS paper solving is needed or both of them are needed? Yes, good question. All India AIMS is connected by AIMS only. So, the whole idea of solving all India AIMS PGI JIPMA last 10 years of papers is to get that uh, kick off exam. Right. So, that is the reason uh, if you you, the main idea should be ultimate target should be at least top 50 percent high yield topic list out of the 1130 topics given to cover. Whenever you are getting slightly bored, keep solving questions and do not keep an ideal time let me tell you. No, no, after all my preparation I will open every paper and do. No, that time does not come. And another thing, 30-40 questions only I, I will get fatigue. No doctor. 
you picked up one eighth paper means you finished the 200 questions tuck, 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 one after the other first guess what is your answer no you are completely clean bold go through the explanation if required if you are right you don't need to go through explanation but ultimately if in a couple or two or three hours along with one of your friends in the reading room finish that paper in one stretch and then read a bit of theory like that you keep combining and don't worry oh only 2008 tak i have done 2005 paper i did not do it's not like that so it's a question of uh, the whole questions are meant to add that spice and pepper and be careful about the explanation sometimes explanations are given so lengthy every author will reproduce the same anantanarayanan same robin's pathology once more back into the book so you can't keep on crapping every everything we also give lot of unnecessary stuff in our explanatory answers really all that is not required to the point if the answer more than enough so that is the whole game doctor and let me tell you like a repeated pregnancies same doubts will come for any aspirant for any number of years entrance is conducted it's like a, a younger sister elder sister one will have back pain other will have pruritus somebody else will have some other small problem like pedal edema somebody will have excessive vomitings but ultimately pregnancies will all be successful provided you are ready to wait up to 9 months so entrance also once you finished high yield topics minimum 10 10 points on each and solve at least 5 to 10 years papers of at least one or two institutes you should get that confidence is all about like uh, going to the operation theater now doctor <clears throat> oncogenes activated by translocation you see in all but not in wilms wilms is what wilms is basically decided by what wagr w a g r which is on the chromosome 11 and basically it is the deletion of the short arm of the chromosome 11 but not translocation of the chromosome unlike in philadelphia chromosome where you have translocation that is a whole issue is what need to be remembered <clears throat> you don't find draconculasis anymore in india as all of you know huh what else is there oh yellow fever is also given in this okay i think a dual answer eh? a dual answer Commonest type of inquest Bharat mein kya hota hai? Police inquest. Then uh, <clears throat> there are some specific scenarios where magistrate's inquest is being ordered. You must know what are the list of scenarios because that is also a very high yield topic is what need to be remembered. Exhumation. District magistrate is empowered for asking to dig the body back from the ground. A uh, body is what need to be remembered first class magistrate of course if the person is an uh, hindu sampradaya there is no chance of exhumation you might have read uh, without postmortem only one of the recent music director's body has been uh, disposed of now there is a lot of controversy on that right so that way um, exhumation if the body is restored is definitely can be ordered by the magistrate first class what is the best method for identification of course the biscuit question fingerprinting pawn fracture where do you see doctor typically in case of the children below 5 years pediatric population depressed fractures of the skull yeah infant was there huh what is that 36th huh? DNA fingerprinting DNA testing and uh, or dactylography both the things are there eh? oh I think A and B both are equally good ideally both should not be given uh, yeah sometimes when we pick up the previous questions even university will have 5 6 questions error later recognized so sorry for that <coughs> Yeah, what is a ward in case of firearms is a very important uh, uh, question. <clears throat> Basically, firearms are divided into 
smooth bore and rifle. Rifle may you have rifle, revolver and pistol. So these are the VAD, VAD A, VAD B, etc. which you are seeing. So VAD is that circular disc of varying thickness which will basically adjust contents of the shotgun cartridge is basically called VAD is what need to be basically remembered. What was the very recent entrance question? Uh, Cruciform Maharashtra PG Mat 2015. So, a gun wala question, to sam wala question will be there in the exam. So, be sure about it and do not tell. I am disgusted to read all these things because everybody is reading that. Entrance is like Parmapada Shopana Patam, like a snake and ladder game. Entrance preparation. So, do not tell everybody will get snakes and ladders when you are playing the exam. So, that is the reason you have to read, so you do not like a lot of things. Chandler's index is for what? Hookworm. Hmm? Then, safe limit of chlorine kitna hota hai? 0 0.5 to 0 0.8. You prepared it only for chlorination, contact period and ultimately examiner will ask chloride, I mean fluoride ka levels. Huh? So, fluorine concentration recommended is 1.5 ppm is what you have to basically remember. <coughs> Number of degrees of freedom, 4 minus 1 into 4 minus 1, 3 into 3 become 9 is another cheapest question. Coming to the case fatality. Is it a rate or a ratio? Basically, numerator is different from denominator. It is a ratio of deaths to cases is what need to be basically uh, remembered. <coughs> number of deaths due to a disease by number of cases due to the same disease is case fatality rate. Right? Then, um, vitamin B12 is not found in vitamin B12. <coughs> Yeah, vegetarians do not have vitamin B12, so milk, meat, fish, all non-vegetarian food will have vitamin B12 is what need to be remembered. <coughs> yes, Nalgonda technique, easy question, endemic fluorosis, sickness benefit basically for 91 days. National Leprosy Eradication Program, control was in 1955, eradication 1983, modified leprosy elimination came up in 1998 to 2004, because that was the year 2005 of JKMD, huh? it is reasonable, but now things have changed a lot. Oh, this is a beautiful question doctor, you need to practice some SPM formulas when you are going for exam, at least 7 or 8 important uh, formula you need to be quite sure on. <coughs> now, you have got a birth rate of 36 per thousand and the village has a population of 10,000. That is the reason how many births are there? 360. Maternal deaths in the population is equal to 5. So, number of maternal deaths by the number of live births, 5 by 360 into 1000 will give you 13.8 becomes the answer. Now, whenever there is an outbreak of plague, what are the important things indicated? Public health measures. Uh, there is a need for isolation of cases who are coughing out, not the contacts. Then all doctors should be also the isolated who are treating. Hmm? So, that is the point. PQNI. What does it indicate? Include easy question IMR, life, literacy, life expectancy at uh, age 1, etc., etc. Bada syndrome, otherwise called Werner Morrison syndrome. What is Bada, doctor, basically? WDHA, watery diarrhea, hypokalemia, along with uh, um, uh, dehydration, um, is uh, the combination which you come across. And whenever the diarrhea is causing bicarbonate loss into the stool, what will happen? Normal anion gap acidosis occur. 
not alkalosis is what need to be remembered. Most common brain tumor. So, brain tumor is always a fizzling question which you need to be quite sure about doctor. Yeah. <clears throat> Astrocytomas, otherwise called gliomas are most common brain tumors. Medulloblastomas are most common brain tumor in children. Craniopharyngeoma is most common supratentorial etc etc all the statistics of brain and bone tumors definitely one question will come bone in bone appearance there are many conditions which lead to it including osteopetrosis but that list you must be sure normally only bone to bone appearance do you see yes sir in infants thoracic lumbar vertebrae will show that uh, bone within that bone appearance due to that increased opacified bones is what you come across. Any growth recovery lines also will lead to that sickle cell disease, autosomal dominant osteopetrosis, paged scaphy disease, gotcha, acromegaly, post radiation, congenital syphilis, etc., etc., is a big supravatam waiting for you to basically master. Albright syndrome, what is the combination of the features that you basically come across? I am very happy to see 70 plus online viewers. We have recently published a, a schedule. A lot of students were asking what is the precise schedule of the mock tests, subject tests, everything. So, we did it on uh, both online MBBS and uh, the uh, this. From March 14th, our next batch uh, will start uh, uh, with weekends on main subjects, Saturday, Sunday and uh, Monday to remaining days, the smaller subjects. Albright's is a combination, skin pigmentation, precocious puberty and fibrous dysplasia. This week you have ophthalmology class, Dr. Uh, uh, Rajaratnam Tangavel, one of the top ophthalmology teacher. She also teaches in Bhatia, so many uh, institutes and a very popular teacher in Chennai with a lot of admiration for all of us. She is flying all the way from Chennai to deliver a lecture. Please do come. She will come for two weekends, Saturday, Sunday, 4 for less 4, 8 plus 8, 16. Ophthalmology is a dry subject. Retina can become dry, vitreous can become shrunken, retina can get detached. Once more, glaucoma drugs is a confusion because we never studied the ANS pharmacology. So, she will take care of all those things to drive into your mind and she is considered a very articulate teacher and uh, uh, she won't teach our powerpoints which we, we deliver which are available in the online video lectures. She has her own style of whiteboard but you will be given notes, you can review that. So, two weekends she will take care of your ophthalmology, only you can listen, you need not read that I can assure uh, to you, right doctor. So, please do come, tell your friends. It is a free uh, class on Saturday and Sunday for two weeks. The most common site for the osteoarthrosis in a cervical spine, the most common location will be C5, C6, then C6, C7, then C3, C4 and C4, C5. So, that is the typical order which you need to basically remember. 